guys, I honestly cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. I just pull up here to the first spot and it is just teeming with what looks like hundreds, if not thousands of bluegill. I, they're just sunning. I can't tell how big they are. I don't want to stand up and scare them. But I pulled up and I heard a bunch of them just like popping and I see them feeding on the surface. I was like, what the heck? I'm surprised I'm like, oh, I need to cast a little bit further. I mean, they are just, there is a huge school of them. Watch this. I hope they're big. I just can't tell. There he is. Okay, okay. How big is he? Not bad. Is it a red ear? Oh, it's a bluegill. It's a female. It's a chunky female. Look at that. She's fat with eggs. We're looking for red ears, but we'll take some big bluegills if we can get them. That's a really good sized female bluegill. You could definitely eat that size of fish. Um, plan on keeping some fish, but I want the big males and I want some red ear. Oh shoot, he ate my bobber. I need a fly rod. There you go. It's super shallow. Looks like another female. Looks identical to the first one we caught. Maybe it's a smidge bit smaller, but they are just piled up. We got these docks. We got a lot of vegetation in the water. It's shallow. I'm telling you, this is like the most productive looking water I have seen in a while. Send him back, get another worm. So this is all we're using for bait, just some worms I dug up out of the garden. Hopefully I dug up enough. There's, there is a ton of fish. And it looks like there's some bass. I wouldn't mind to catch a couple bass. We might keep some of them too if we catch them. I might literally sight fishing them. And these, these bluegill are not on beds. They have not made beds yet, but they're probably over here getting ready to. There we go. Oh, yeah, they're flying out of shallow water. It is not deep. Is that a male? Hey, we got our first male. Our first little male bluegill of the day. Got him. Got him. Oh no, they're getting smaller. No, that's not what we want. The good news is that we have a big area right here that we can look around at, and if there is this size bluegill here. You know there's gotta be some big ones out here. I'm cast right down the side of this dock, see what's happening over here. Gives, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, they smoked it. Another one, another one, looks like another little male. Slightly better, almost swallowed it. We need that times two, and then two times as big, we'll be in business. It might just be a small fish hole though, we might have to move, even though I don't want to. Oh gosh, what is that? What is that? What is that? That's big, that's big. That's big. Oh, it's a red ear. We did it. We did it back here behind me. Oh, baby, that's a good sign right there. I'm seeing some swirling and it's red ear. All right, beautiful fish right there, guys. We might get lucky and catch another one. I'm gonna let this first one go. He's kind of small, he could be bigger, but that is a good sign. There we go, there we go, there we go. That's another big fish. I think it's another red ear, guys. Right up here on the rocks. Oh yeah, good red ear. That's a good one there. That is a good one. Look at that. Big old male red ear. Right up on the bank. That is crazy. Okay, we're gonna send him back. There we go, there we go. Another big old red ear up here in the super shallows and he's jumping like crazy. Oh man. All right, there we go, another red ear. We are going to string this guy up, guys. Be our first keeper. I should have already kept a couple, but we'll keep this one here. We're gonna keep going down the bank. I was just kinda wanna make sure I was gonna catch some first. All right, there we go. First keeper fish of the day. It's a nice little red ear. Another one. Oh shoot. I still got him. I still got him. I still got him. Oh, it's another big one. Another big red ear. Oh shoot. Look at the size of that one. Whoo wee. I can lift that one. He's so big. What a stud. There we go. There we go. Another one. Another one. Another big one. Another big one. Another big red ear. I mean, literally right up on the rocks. It's insane. 
Look at how fat that one is. Just huge, fat red ear. These are males too. All right, we're rigging up another juicy, wriggly red worm. We're getting bit. I have no idea how many fish are up there. I'm scared to go up any closer. And I'm really, I mean, they are literally right up on those rocks. And I'm, I promise you guys, I don't know how I'm not seeing their backs up out of the water. It is that shallow. They're just swirling back there. I think if I was to come back here like in two days, maybe even just one day, whenever they're done, like actually in the nest building process and they're just sitting there, oh, I think I get, I, I think I get, get nasty. But there we go. <laughs> My trolling motor tried to take off on its own. That's a little guy, but another red ear. It's crazy, just like three docks down, we were covered up in thousands of smaller bluegill. And there were some good ones mixed in, but I just wasn't hooking them. And now we've got almost exclusively red ear right here. I did catch one bluegill a minute ago. There we go. Oh my gosh, that's a giant. That is a giant. That is a giant. Oh, baby. It ain't no Lake Havasu right here, but look at that thing. Look at that thing. Oh, it's beautiful. Big, thick male right here, sunfish, baby. No. There we go. There we go. There we go. Another good one. Yes. Look at that, fellas. Another gorgeous male red-eared sunfish. He's honestly a little bit smaller than the other one, so I'm gonna go ahead and just release him back here so we can get back to doing his business. He's fine eating size. And I might regret throwing him back because I could get up here and not catch any more. It's kind of slowed down, but it's just, it's such a tiny spot that I'm not really surprised. <laughs> Just trying to get some better boat position and got slammed by this really nice red ear. This one here's got some really nice colors to it. We're gonna string them up and keep fishing. And I'm not sure if y'all can really tell how long that is, but I'm literally fishing like seven inches deep and throwing right on the bank. Got it. <laughs> is that a bluegill? It's a bluegill. It's a bluegill. Our first fish off the bank that is not a red ear. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Big red ear. Big red ear. Oh yeah. Look at that one right there. We moved up a little bit more. We got this little bit of a seawall. And first cast in there. Caught a red ear. There's also like a sunken boat and a big old bass swim out of there and it got me all excited, it got me feeling crazy. But that's another great keeper. We're gonna throw her on the stringer. Got her. That's another tank. Another tank. Another tank. Yes. <laughs> I should've said got him. Another nice male. I just can't get over how, t how tight to the bank these fish are. I've never really caught them this close to the bank, or at least in recent, recent years I haven't caught them this close. I've also caught them more off of the bank, so I don't know if they're just not getting as much fishing pressure this year or, or what. We haven't had like super crazy water levels. Um, they've been pretty pretty consistent, so I don't know. I don't know, but I ain't mad at it. It's just, it's crazy. Let's do a little stringer check. Y'all wanna see what we got? You there. I'd say that's a pretty solid string of red ear. I don't wanna keep too many. Cause I don't want to have to clean a whole bunch, and I want to save some for uh, for Big Boss. Jessica's been wanting to get out here and catch some red ear. Also, Mike can even get Baby C out here to catch some. That's kind of why I'm just moving around, catching a few here, a few there, just kind of figuring out where they're hanging at. Cause I think that they're gonna start spawning even more, and there's gonna be more show up to these spots. Um, Cause I really haven't hit one that had a whole bunch of fish. That first spot I think has the potential to hold a whole bunch, 
because I was I was visibly seeing quite a few swimming, but these other spots I just you know hit a couple off the wall, a couple off a couple rocks. But the one thing that's been really consistent is that they are hanging out um, near hard structure, whether whether it be a seawall, a rock, you know, a cypress a cypress knee. It's fun when you get a little pattern going because it makes it a lot easier, makes you able to really call your shots and to eliminate water that doesn't look as good. But we're gonna put this fresh piece of worm back out there in front of us and hopefully catch another. That was a perfect cast. Oh my gosh, is that a crop? Much ready. That was amazing. <laughs> Man, it was a perfect cast. There's, I said there wasn't as much vegetation out here right now, but there is a ton of floating grass and crap. But we got that right next to the wall out of the vegetation and this big male just chomped it. Oh my gosh. I think there's another one sitting in the exact same spot. Another one just swirled. We're there. If he's there, I'm there. That's literally the exact same cast. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> exact same spot, guys. It's crazy. Look at him. See that? Look at him. Look at him. They're spawning right there in front of me. Did y'all see that? That's a good one. I thought this fish was. Look at him. I don't know if it's a bass. I just gotta be ready. It's literally right there in front of me. They're doing it. Look at that. Another nice ready. I'm gonna throw some back. Oh my gosh. Must have put that one right on his head. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a nice one. Very round fish. I have no idea how many fish are right here on this wall, but they are stacked real tight to it. That's another good keeper. Oh, got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. That's a big one. Get off that stick. Get off that stick. Yes, sir. Woohoo. The boat was spinning. I was about to hit this other boat. <laughs> and I was trying to swap hands and grab my paddle, but the bobber went straight down. It's another beautiful, beautiful red ear. Man, these fish are so much fun to catch. I look forward to this every year, and I know that this time doesn't last very, very long, so you gotta take advantage of it while you have it. And uh, I have a good feeling this is gonna be like the only thing on my mind for a little bit, is chasing down these beautiful, hard-fighting, aggressive red eared sunfish. Uh-oh. Yep. He's on there. He's on there. That might be a bluegill, actually. It looks kind of brown. It is brown. It's a brown fish. We got a brown fish. I think that's a big old bluegill. Man, what a nice fish. Maybe we got bluegill spawning up here and red ear back here behind us. Now, normally, I would 100% keep this fish because he's super tasty, but I'm gonna be a red ear purist today. And I honestly might not keep another red ear if I catch one just because I have plenty. We'll send him back. That's good to know there are some bluegill over here. Another one, another one. I think it's another bluegill. Nope, it's a red ear. They're intermingling. So that's actually a hybrid between a bluegill and a red ear. It's a beautiful fish. Don't send him back too. Whew. I can literally see them up there. Oh my gosh, I'm about to get smoked. I can see them up there. That's a that's a big one. That one there ain't small. Is that a bluegill? That's another hybrid. Uh oh, we done found the hybrids. We done found the hybrids. That is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. No wonder I can see them. They're so dark. They're just sitting there. Big hybrid bluegill. I said I wouldn't keep no more, or potentially, but I'm definitely going to keep this one. I love the hybrids because they're more round. You see, they got just so much thickness. It's a big chunk of meat you can get off these guys. Okay, right here is the money spot. I know it's the money spot. Three, two. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, is that another bluegill? It's another big bluegill. It's a big bluegill. <laughs> I love it when they're all mixed like that. Look at the colors on that one. I mean, isn't that a pretty fish? I'll set you free. There we go. Oh, that's a green one. That's a green one. <laughs> another hybrid? Another hybrid bluegill. That thing. 
Aren't those just so cool? I think they're awesome. Catch one in a new spot. Right there. Right there. Oh, another giant. Another giant. Another giant. I spooked him. Oh, look how round that. There we go. There's a, there's a straight up right here, right there, guys. Straight up meatball. <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys. Another just beautiful red ear sunfish. That is amazing. So the reason why you're seeing me throw a good portion of these fish back is because I'm really just wanting to save some for another day. Um, like I said, bring Jay out here, bring somebody out here. But, you know, at any moment, somebody else could come up over here and they could just <laughs> run through this whole thing and keep every fish they catch. Okay, guys, I'm feeling really confident in this next cast right here. As long as I execute. I executed. Oh no, oh no, oh no. We almost blew that. <laughs> Looks golden. Oh my gosh, there's a big old blue deal. Shoot. I mean, come on guys, it doesn't get any better than that. Big bluegill, big red ear, big hybrid bluegill. A little bit of everything. All we need now is like a five pound largemouth to just come up and start like, I don't know, fanning a nest. We'll throw a little sink and call it a day. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm good with all these bluegill guys. So nice. And usually the bluegill, the bluegill and red ear usually spawn about the same time, but the bluegill will continue to spawn, you know, throughout the year. And they tend to get really going a little bit later, a little bit after the red ear. So this is a spot that we could come back to probably and catch um, just as many bluegill as we are red ear, which is exciting. You want me to catch another one? We'll do it right here. <laughs> Golly. It's instant. It's another bluegill. Another bluegill. He's a tiny guy. He went flying. I set the hook hard on that one. I've really been trying to be as like kind of subtle and quiet as I can with the hook set so that the fish don't get all spooked once I pull them out of it because again it's so shallow that it really just hasn't seemed to matter today. They just they just keep biting. I keep seeing them swirling around and I think there's another one already. That's bluegill land up there. Another bluegill. Hey, that's a big old nest of bluegill up there. Oh gosh, something behind me. Oh, 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 there's some big fish going off behind me again. We'll send this other bluegill back. I'm gonna cast back here behind me. Got him, got him, got him. Big old red ear. I got some gnats biting my head. Oh yeah. I thought he was bigger, but he's still a good fish. I got these freaking gnats like biting my neck. I'm sure I could probably see him swarm, swarming me, but that's probably going to uh, add into a reason why I probably won't stay out here a whole lot longer because they are, they are torching me. It does not feel good. He wanted me. crazy they are on fire another nice beautiful hybrid bluegill I've got the most pitiful piece of bait on there it might work it worked big daddy big daddy a bluegill I ain't supposed to catch bluegill in my red ear hole hey guys I think that the fish are just just they're just now starting to show up because it was not moving around. It was, I mean, we've been catching them pretty good since we got here, but there's a lot more motion out here in this ocean. A fish like, looking like they're fanning beds or making beds up here in front of me. There's some, there's some good fish. That's a big fish right there. I think it's a big old bass. Now look how shallow I am. Probably five inches deep. We're just gonna go with it. Oh yeah. Oh, there's a big, big bird. <laughs> big lady right there with some eggs. She's about ready to pop. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's the one we needed right there. That's a good one to end on right there, guys. 
Boom, there we go. There we go. That is another solid red ear. And it's all the red ear, for the most part, all the red ear are like within a foot from the bank and then the blue yellow a little bit further out. I don't think I've caught any red ear more than probably three feet away from the bank, with the majority of them being like right up on it, which is crazy. That's a beautiful fish. I'm actually just gonna send it back. I've got plenty to keep. So let's send him back. And we are gonna get on out of here. We're gonna save this spot, let it rest, let some more fish move up. I'm, I'm seriously convinced that there are still more fish moving up here to the spot. So we're going to uh, leave it be for a little bit and we'll get back after it on another day. All right guys, the next day we iced our fish overnight. We've got a dozen of these really nice sized red ears to clean. I mean, look at this guy. It's a big old chubby dude. These are gonna be some fantastic eating, which we're going to be eating tonight. We've got the old electric fillet knife here. Uh, what I love about these fish is they're big enough that they're actually really easy to clean with the electric knife. Sometimes when you have like bluegill sized fish, um, you know, they can be a little bit difficult, but these guys are big. Here's the old hybrid, look at that thing. Thing is crazy. That was so much fun catching these fish, but now let's get them cleaned up, throw them in the bowl, and we'll cook them up something nice. Just got the fish all cleaned up. We've got them seasoned up here on the cutting board. We've got them just seasoned up with some old fashioned Old Bay seasoning. It's really, really good on bluegill. We've actually got some in here already cooking in a skillet. We're also boiling a pot of rice, which I need to tend to. <laughs> Let me pull that off for a second. But we've got some fish in here simmering, cooking. Those look really, really good. And we're gonna put that with that it's gonna be excellent. Okay, so this is what I'm left with. I have my Old Bay Seasoned Bluegill Fillets, or Red Ear Fillets, not Bluegill, these are Red Ear. These are special, and I've got my pile of brown rice. I've also got some uh, Red Ear Fillets on top of that, and I have some hot sauce. Actually, I've got some Old Bay hot sauce kind of sticking true to the brand. That looks mighty tasty, it looks mighty filling, and I can't wait to devour that plate. Let's see how it tastes. Okay, we got my plate down here beside me. I've got a fork full of uh, red ear filet with the hot sauce and brown rice. Let's see how it tastes. It's perfect. It's so good. It was kind of a big bite of hot sauce. It was kind of spicy, but man, that is so, so good and just exactly what I've been longing for all winter long. You know, these are the kind of days that I just look forward to during the gloomy winter months. It's just you know, when everything starts to come alive, you know, leaves are out on the trees, there's flowers everywhere, the birds are chirping, the sun is up, it's hot, and the bluegill and red ear are on the banks. And uh, I'm really looking forward to getting back out there again really soon and trying to catch some more while I can because this won't last forever. These red ear, they kind of turn into ghosts after they do their thing on the bank. So definitely want to capitalize on that, catch some more fish. And I know that you guys love this type of fishing also. So. Guys, this is where I'm going to end today's episode. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me out there on the lake today, catching those fish. Like I said, we'll be back out there again soon. But if y'all enjoyed the video, do me a huge favor, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.